In his almost 80 year history, Superman has accumulated a multitude of superpowers from heat vision to super strength. But I'd argue that his most interesting and simultaneously most confusing superpower has to be time reversal. It would truly be an amazing feat if he could make the world spin backwards, but you would never want him to try this if you know you like being alive. Out of everything I'm asked to science on this program, figuring out this scene may be the single most requested topic. In 1978's Superman, Kal-El loses Lois, and in a rage, he decides to fly above the Earth and then around it at great speed. The world starts spinning backwards, time reverses, and then the world returns to normal. Lois is saved. Could Superman really reverse time like this? Is he, is he physically turning the planet the other way around? What is happening? All right, so first, what was actually happening in that scene? Now, I was always of the opinion that Superman is supposed to be flying faster than the speed of light in this scene, a theoretical way to go backwards in time and therefore make the planet spin reverse. But look at the scene again. After Superman spins the world backwards, he slows down and then has to spin up the world back the other way. But if Superman was reversing time in this way, the Earth would resume its normal rotation the instant he slowed down from light speed. So the scene has to be implying that Superman is physically changing the rotation of the Earth with a force and that the rotation of the Earth is what determines how time flows. Now, you don't have to be a physicist to know that this kind of thinking is like thinking cutting a meter stick in half is going to change what a meter actually is. But to be fair, this is the same guy who thinks that glasses are a very good disguise. Oh, oh, who, who am I? What show is this? I've never, oh. Even though he cannot reverse time by physically changing the spin of the Earth, Superman is trying to do so anyway by flying really, really fast. So we should at least check if he's going faster than the theoretical speed at which he could go backwards in time. And by my count, Superman makes it around the Earth around 65 times during this scene that takes place over 17 seconds, and the Earth has an average circumference at the equator of 40,000 kilometers. Now, if you do the math, this gives an average velocity of 0.5 c, or only half the speed of light. So reversing time this way is out of the question. So Superman has to be physically changing the Earth's spin because the spinning that we're seeing in that scene doesn't really fit with time travel and he's not going fast enough. But it doesn't matter because there's only one way to physically change the Earth's spin like we see him do in this scene and even trying to do it would be a catastrophe. Superman wasn't pushing the Earth directly, so the only force he could apply to it to slow it down and change its spin is an indirect drag force. And the drag force is proportional to one half times a coefficient of drag, which just captures many intricacies of the object, times the density of the fluid that that object is moving through, multiplied by the area of that object that's actually in contact with the fluid, like air, that it is moving through, times the airspeed squared. Now this would provide a, there you are, drag force behind Superman, and some of this would make it to the surrounding air, and even less of it would make it down to the surface of the Earth to help stop it. The air dragged behind Superman in the opposite direction of Earth's current spin would have to do a lot of work to slow the Earth down because the Earth has an incredible amount of rotational inertia, or resistance to a change in its spin. The Earth weighs a trillion, trillion kilograms and is spinning at around 460 meters per second, around a thousand miles per hour. So to slow it down, let alone stop it dead and then spin it back up the other direction would take enough energy to whoa, also destroy it and separate it gravitationally. I'm sorry, Lois, and everyone else, I guess. Mostly care about her. Now just imagine how long it would take a human-sized object to provide enough drag force to enough air to indirectly slow down and reverse the spin of an entire planet. Thousands of years? Millions of years? 
In reality, the only way to slow down and reverse Earth's spin as quickly as Superman is supposed to do is to give the Earth a cosmic slap, like throwing a moon-sized object at it at 12 kilometers per second, everyone's dead again. But the energy that Superman would have to drag into the Earth's atmosphere and the time it would take to do so to reverse an entire planet's spin also doesn't really matter because if he tried this, well, well, you'll see. Imagine Superman just took off in his attempt to save Lois. Air drag is proportional to the density of air, so he's gonna want to fly as close to the ground as possible. Now, below 343 meters per second, as he passes by, people are gonna hear a loud whoosh, but above this limit, Superman is gonna start breaking the sound barrier and probably a bunch of people's windows. And then he speeds up. As Superman approaches speeds like that of a re-entering spacecraft in our atmosphere, or Mach 25, the air in front of him is compressing and heating up so much that it begins to disassociate and become a glowing shroud of incandescent plasma. Now the shock wave accompanying this cloud of plasma is gonna radiate down to the ground and probably start damaging and destroying a bunch of buildings and injuring thousands of people. And, and then he speeds up again. As Superman reaches his top speed of 0.5 before light speed, the air in front of him is getting so hot that it undergoes nuclear fusion, releasing gamma rays, and the plasma around him is hot enough to release X-rays, and the shockwave accompanying both is destroying all of the buildings beneath him, and everything is on fire, and Superman is a cone of nuclear annihilation wherever he goes, and stop! Stop, this won't turn back time, everyone's already dead! Okay, cool, thanks. So, in maybe the most confusing Superman scene ever, Clark Kent is reversing the Earth's spin. But not only is he not going theoretically fast enough to turn back time, and not only would turning the Earth physically backwards do nothing to save Lois, him even attempting to do so would mean a madman flying around the globe like a nuclear bomb destroying everything in his wake for a thousand years? A million? <sighs> what a mess. At least we learned something because science. I didn't even mention what would happen if the Earth actually stopped. I mean, uh, we were talking about what it would take to stop it spinning or what would happen if you tried to stop it spinning, but if the Earth just stopped spinning, think, think about it like this. Do you think it would be a good thing to take a I don't know, a hot tub's worth of water in the back of your car and then drive at highway speeds and then stop? What do you think that water would do? I don't know, fly in the back of your head and rip it off? Imagine all of the Earth's oceans spinning at a thousand miles per hour and then just stopping. Every single building on Earth would collapse and everything uh, that you hold dear would die. Is Lois really that important? Thank you so much for watching, Elon. Hey, you never know. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at SciFile. If you want more science, you can check out the space program on projectalpha.com where you can sign up now for a free 30-day trial. And if you do so, you can get this show two days before everyone else. And you can check out Mutt Squatch with me and Dan Casey where we get very serious and silly about the guy that I mentioned previously. Thanks.